Hello, and welcome back to St. Peter's Layout. Today, I'm going to do a review on the new Class 33 by Helgen, and these two arrived with me early this morning. So let's get started. So, I'm going to start on the green one first, and then I'll go on to the West Coast Railway one after the green one. So, this is the BR Green version of the Class 33. And then running number is D6515, and the name is LT Jenny Lewis RN. This is the version 3 of the Class 33, same with the West Coast Railways one. Now I decided to get these two as a pair, because I saw the rail tour uh, of these. Uh, D6515 was leading, but it wasn't 33029 on the rear. It was a different one, it was uh, Jim Martin, uh, 33207 on the rear. Uh, when it went past my local crossing. I think these models are absolutely fantastic. I'm glad I've actually got no issues with these. Uh, the only downside is that there's detailing on both ends and you get a detailing pack, which makes no sense really. Uh, I like to put on the detail myself and also put the coupling in on one end. But of course that's easily uh, fixable. Just got to take off some detailing parts on the other end. So let's get closer at the detailing on this Class 33. I think the detailing on these models are absolutely stunning. It really does prove that Helgen do good diesel locos. As you can see on the front, no head, uh, no number on the head code this time. That's on both ends, starting at the fan end. See all the little details of this 33? The high intensity light in the middle. Moving around on the side. Really, really looks good. Moving on to the bogey. They've done the bogey right this time. Uh, because I've seen older models of 33s where the springs are the same out where the other ones are. Which the two middle ones should be in. Um, they are now. The fan, uh, well, the grills on the side is a lot better. Definitely a lot better than I've seen. There's the nameplate. You don't get uh, nameplates in the pack. This is just printed on. But I probably will find the nameplates to get to put on this loco. As you see, tons of detail on the fuel tank. And on this bogey as well. Nice little logo there. BR logo. Still tons of detail on the top. They made the fan better this time. It's not uh, plastic-y plastic anymore. Moving around. Still tons of detail. To the other end. Just there. Like I said, not uh, not the um, numbers on the head code yet again. And you don't actually get supplied with them, which is weird. But you can't also change them because I've tried looking for the little hole and there's no tool to undo it. This model is preserved on the Swanage Railway, which I have been at uh, on the Diesel Gala last year in 2019. Uh, I have been behind this loco, and it has been on my channel as well. So this uh, 33 is mainline in BR Green, and it's been quite a few places. So I'm going to move on to the West Coast Railway one, that is factory weathered. On to the West Coast Railways Class 33, uh, the running number is 33029. No uh, name on this one, it's unnamed. But this one is going to have plows on, and the plows are in the box in the detailing pack. Uh, they are weathered, the parts are 
weathered in there compare to the other one that's pristine. Now I've been wanting one of these for ages, West Coast Railways one. Looked everywhere for the other one, older version, couldn't find one and if it was it would be quite a high price. But I'm glad I've got this one and the other one. And I think these two make a great addition to the layout. Looking on top of the roof, yet again, no uh, plastic fan anymore. That's blocked. Weathered on the roof as well. Partly where the exhaust is. Definitely on the underside. This one has uh, a number in the head code, which is 06 which I'll probably have to find out. Uh, and the other end is just blank. Yeah, again, tons of detail. Hadron really have done a great job on these new ones. Like that. There's the other end. And that is the leading end, I'd say. These models I'm absolutely happy with, and I'm pleased to say there's no issues with them. I also don't have them running on the track, and the tra there's no track power because I do not have the chips yet. I did order them on Friday, and they should turn up on Tuesday. So I'll do a running video with them. These are the codes uh, on the box for the 33s. There's tons of variations of 33s that are out. Uh, I do like the DRS ones and also the nice bright red 33, which is named Eastly. But I personally went for these because I have seen a West Coast Railways one and D6515. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check out for more videos like this. Take care guys.